Greetings Swangolians and welcome back to Swango. This is the OG Bird and we're going to be continuing our close quarters overhead map walkthroughs and callouts on Operation 925. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn into the game. Now I'm not going to walk through like I did in the Zebra Tower map and show you every little piece. I'm going to more talk about some of the strategies that you can have while playing Operation 925. Now when I first started playing close quarters this is the map I like the least. But after playing for a while and looking at my overhead maps, by the way, I call this Sea Hall. Okay? You have to check out and download the overhead maps to check out all the callouts. They're pretty good. A lot of work went into them. But what I wanted to show you is this. Has been taken. After looking at the overhead maps and playing the game for a while, with just a couple of people, a single squad, you can hold Charlie and Bravo all day long. Forget about Alpha. Alpha is a death trap, okay? I There's just so many places to get killed that way. Charlie and Bravo are very linear. So you have Bravo down here, which has very little cover. It's got this van and this burn up car and some pallet. You have an access door here, and the only other access to Bravo besides Charlie is from A under underneath. So they'll be coming from there or there. That is it. So if you have a guy posted at this stairwell section, and a guy posted at this stairwell section, then all you need is a guy posted back here to watch the hallway, the mezzanine, the tower up there, the reception area, and then a guy over here for backup. You've got Charlie and Bravo the whole game. Nobody can get through. And if they do, use the callouts. You have two guys right underneath you at Bravo that can come up and give you a hand. Or if they're having trouble, all you have to do is go down and give them a hand. It's a very short walk from C to B. However, A to B can be very long distance. So forget about A. Just focus on holding Charlie and Bravo. I'm telling you, it works. We do it all the time. There's some pretty easy callouts. Uh, here's some visual representations. See this tile over here? This section, this section over here, call it C tile. And this section over here, we call C generator. Very basic. However, each one of these has an entrance onto the C deck. So it's relevant that those directions have their own callouts. You're pretty much looking at three directions here. You have C tile, C generator, and then you have the reception area. That's all you pretty much have to keep under control at Charlie. And then at Bravo, you just spot guys. You can even let them take it because you know they're coming right to Charlie. They're not going to go back to Alpha. And if they do, you just go take Charlie. On their way to Charlie, you can just destroy them and go take Bravo back. Or you can go over and take Bravo while they're trying to take it. Either way, you have two guys down there in stealth, <laughs> in the dark, and then two guys up here in stealth covering the whole time. The whole time. I'm telling you, it works out great. Now listen, these are a reward for those Swangolians and aspiring Swangolians out there who have given so much support to Swango. And so I'm giving you guys all these overhead maps. A lot of work went into these. So please enjoy them. Please use them. They're very, very helpful. Callouts in video games, in shooters particularly, especially strategical tactical ones like Battlefield 3, require callouts. So please use them. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, download the maps that I've given you with the JPEGs, the text files, and the PSD files. Share them with your friends. Somebody else out there might like it. And feel free to go ahead and change what I've called them. Go ahead and feel free to actually manipulate the boundaries of my callouts. Uh, you'll see what I mean once you open it up. Now, in case you don't have Photoshop, go ahead and download GIMP. I believe you can open up PSD files with GIMP. I will put a description, a link to the description in, in the description below. And you guys have a wonderful weekend. 
Remember, happy gaming, and this would not be Swango without your obligatory explosion. So, here it is, guys. Remember, happy gaming. I